what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel thanks y'all for tuning in um this is just like a, a little intermittent piece between my two northern small mall videos one of them's already out if you haven't checked it out go ahead over and watch that one it's a good one uh the other one's going to be coming out sometime this week but i just wanted to hit you guys up and just let you know um kind of what my plans are and how i got to where i am right now in the bass fishing industry um you know there's been a lot of big changes going on with major league fishing even on the bass side uh, the npfl is really picking things up um which is really cool to see um but as a lot of you guys know i was fishing the major league fishing invitationals and here's a little bit of the story and how the background of how i got there so in uh 2021 I entered my first season in the Bassmaster Opens. I fished the Central Division, which was Pickwick. Uh, and that first tournament was supposed to be Lewis Smith, but that got canceled because of flooding. R drastic flooding, like into the people's living rooms kind of thing, like really, really bad. Um, but yeah, so it was supposed to be Lewis Smith, uh, Pickwick, and then Grand. And it ended up being Pickwick in May, Lewis Smith in October, and then uh, I think it was like a week later, we went to Grand. Um, very me mediocre start in my AAA level. I think I ended, I don't know, ju just over 100 in points, I believe, or actually, no, I think I was mid 80s. I don't know. It, it wasn't good anyway. I was nowhere near a qualification. I was nowhere near a classic spot or anything like that so um obviously I'm a, I'm a glutton for punishment so i was like heck first year was terrible let's give it another shot and go at it again so i tried to throw my name into the hat in 2022 i couldn't get in because you know the first 25 guys get a priority entry code so they can enter the, the series uh, a lot sooner and then um, you know, it goes to life member. Like, there's a whole process that it, it go that goes down the line to get into the Bassmaster Opens, um, and I could not get in. I mean, I entered, I think, like within three minutes, and everything was full. Um, but it turns out, I called up my buddy Laker, Laker Hal. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, go check it out. I called him up and said, "Hey, what do you think my chances are of getting into the Toyota Series?" And he told me if I found a link, I could probably fish. All the ones that i wanted to and i wanted to fish the central division um it was a bunch of lakes that i had never fished before in a part of the country that i've it's well known for bass fishing but i've never bass fished and those three tournaments were guntersville uh dale hollow and chickamauga and uh so i squeezed into those i found a code that i could link with got into those and i ended up finishing fourth in angler of the year uh for those tournaments i had a top 10 at dale hollow and it was phenomenal, live scope and big large mouth and small mouth, but I didn't catch any small mouth that I could weigh in. They had to be over 21 inches to, to weigh them in on Dale Hollow for that tournament, but caught a lot of, of big uh, large mouth and small mouth. The last day of the tournament, I weighed in like 22.10. So that was awesome. And then, uh, yeah, so I finished, but that was the best tournament in, in that series. Um, I had a 42nd at Gunnersville and a 26th at Chickamauga. So it was a stellar season, by far the best uh, traveling season I had had so far. And that got me a uh, fourth in Angler of the Year. And it gave me an opportunity to fish the pro circuit. And, you know, my dream has always been just to fish professionally, make a living in this sport, and make a name for myself in this industry. And that really was the defining moment of like okay this is my shot now that being said um i never really thought i would be fishing the flw but now the major league fishing side of things um but the goal was always just to fish professionally so i wasn't really i didn't really care what organization it was with i just wanted to make a name for myself and then i'd be able to go do what i really wanted to do um so i got my invite to the uh, pro circuit, which later that year, MLF turned into the invitationals. You know, they kind of took the tour professional bass circuit feel out of it. They cut the payouts. Um, 
six tournaments, still, you know, a drastic size entry fee. Um, very, but, but I was going to do it either way because of the opportunity. I was not going to miss out on the opportunity to fish at that level. And I mean, if you haven't watched any of my major league fishing invitational videos from last year, head on over and check them out, you know, a couple weeks ago, major league fishing dropped the bomb about the Bass Pro Tour and how they're going to be cutting 30 anglers going into the 2025 season. And there was a bunch of other changes too. I mean, there, there's been a lot. Of, I mean, you can go watch a bunch of podcasts about all the, the rule changes, format changes, qualification changes, and um, your rookie of the year standings and all that. It's very, I mean, it seemed really convoluted to me. I mean, I had to read through it a couple of times just to see how the guys at the top level are going to stay at the top level. And that being said, I mean, the part that really didn't sit well with me was they're cutting 30 anglers, 30 guys who've put their career on the line to come over and join this organization and make it big and try to help it grow. And then they're going to cut the field down to 50. Now, I have nothing wrong with fishing in smaller fields, that's fine, but to do it the way that it's being done, just, it doesn't sit well with me. I, I don't know, I feel really bad for the guys that are up there, and there's a lot of really big personalities that fish Major League Fishing, the, ba the Bass Pro Tour, and just because they're not finishing well doesn't mean they're not amazing on camera and doing wonders for their sponsors and for the organization, because when they get a camera in their boat, people are going to tune in and watch. So it's just one of those things that I get it. They're trying to get like the superstars of the sport. They want the best of the best, which is cool. But, you know, we're not all Jacob Wheelers. We're not all Kevin Van Dams. Like, do I want to be? Yes. Do I feel like I have the capability to? Someday. Yes, I really do. Um, but I need to be able to build. You know, you got to be able to go somewhere. And for me... The Major League Fishing at that point just, it didn't seem like a good go. It just didn't seem like I would have the same amount of opportunities that I did last year. And they're only taking five out of the invitationals. So, I mean, they really changed the standards on what you need to hit uh, to, to get to that next level, which just makes it challenging. Um, so... That being said, I am fishing all nine Bassmaster EQ tournaments coming up into the 2024 season. Um, very excited at the opportunity. I'm gonna, I mean, it's all nine tournaments. I know the gauntlet that the Bassmaster Opens can be and what they are. I mean, th this is not gonna be anything close to what it was last year. I'm very well aware of that. I mean, I put in a lot of work last year and I'm about to ramp it up even more going into the upcoming season just because you have a bigger field you have a co-angler um longer season nine tournaments like I, it, it's a lot of work but honestly i'm really looking forward to getting the season going um you know i mean and i'm just excited at the opportunity to pursue my dream of fishing on the elite series and fishing in the Bassmaster classic the granddaddy bass tournament of them all. I don't care what anybody says. The Bass Masters Classic cannot be beat when it comes to competitive fishing. It is the holy grail. And I want to stand on that stage. And I want to not just be there. I want to compete and be at the top when it comes to that tournament. There's no other place I want to be. Will I be honored to fish that tournament? Absolutely. But I'm there to win. I want to win. And to win and even get to the classic i gotta win and open i want to make it to the elite series so i can keep getting the classics keep making titles so that is the goal that is the goal going into 2024 make the elite series and make the classic but guys let me know what you think i gotta thank all you guys for following along um i know i got some diehards on here that watch everything um the invitations were a fun ride. I'm really going to miss traveling around with Norby, Laker, Ethan Green, and the Robinsons, the whole family. Marshall, Marty, Iris. We, we all had so much fun. Um, but I'm definitely going to be keeping up with those boys still fishing the invitationals. And Marshall's fishing the BPT. So I'm going to definitely keep an eye on my boys over there. But um, yeah, we got big things coming into 2024. But hey, just so you guys know, I also started 
a free private Facebook group, giving a little bit more of like these one-on-one -on -one conversations behind the scenes in my life. Uh, I mean, we won't even, we, we won't just dive into the fishing side of things. It'll be, you know, fishing, it'll be fitness, it, I mean, firefighting, my paramedic, the, the, the whole thing that kind of makes me, me. I want to bring you guys into my life. And if you guys have any questions, you guys want to see something, you know, anything like that, don't be afraid to hit me up. Thanks y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Head on over to that Facebook group, give it a like, and come on in, join the community. I'm going to get back to casting for some of these smallmouth that I'm out here trying to catch. Y'all, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.